Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I got a great surprise in the mail this weekend while I was gone. These guys showed up right here. This is the Berkeley Nessie. It's the 7 and the 9. I am super excited to play around with these. I have, uh, I've gotten a ton of notifications for a while now from Berkeley, you know, with some videos and descriptions and talking about this bait, but this is the first time I've actually gotten it in my hand. And the cool thing is I've got them right now and I leave for iCast in a couple of days. So I want to take these down to the water and just play with them. I'm not going to be able to get out in the boat before I leave for iCast, but I really wanted to actually get it in my hand, play around with it, make some casts, see how it moves, see how it works before I went to iCast because I know at iCast there's going to be a ton of people talking about it and to be able to have some firsthand uh, experience with it before most people will have it'll just allow me to really have a good feeling for the bait and you know getting into some conversations regarding it and just talking about it but i am uh super excited to play with it uh so let's get down to the water so we can show you some of the motion of it they are a lot of cool things that go into it but it's basically it's one of the first soft glide baits on the market so it's actually made out of plastic and what that does is it allows it to be at a very good price point. I think it's going to be $16.99 or $17.99. Uh, I don't actually know yet. Uh, I'm sure they're probably going to be up on uh, Tackle Warehouse, I would think, once iCast puts them up. A lot of times Tackle Warehouse does like a Bates of iCast and you can pre-order. I think they're not going to be shipped until September-ish. All of this is things that I think think I've heard in the past. I could be completely wrong, uh, but I believe you're probably going to be able to pre-order them relatively soon through Tackle Warehouse. So I'll put the link if it's up yet. I'll put the link because this probably won't actually air until when I'm at iCast or slightly after iCast. Let's get down to the water. I'll stop babbling. I'm excited to play with these. Okay, I just tied it on. This is the Nessie 7 in Golden Shiner color. This is a really nice looking color. I think this is going to be dynamite for smallmouth, but it's got a chartreuse gold look, nice blaze orange line across it. Really a very high quality looking bait. You know, this is a plastic or a soft plastic glide bait, which there are very few of on the market. A couple of things to point out just in the first little bit of playing around with it. I really like the fiber tail on it. I mean, one is it's got the shape that I really like, but more importantly, it's a it's a limber bristle, but it, it retains its shape. It goes right back, which is one thing I've had issues with with other uh, high-end glide baits. The tails, the fibers are so soft that they immediately like get out of shape and flare, which has an effect on the bait. Uh, a couple of other things that I like about this, they've used the same hook locking mechanism that they use on the coal shed. So it the hook fits in this little slot and then there's this little clip that really does a great job holding in the treble hook so it keeps it in position really well which is where you want it from a hook set standpoint the fins on it are molded in uh, so they're not going anywhere and then the joint there's a fiber i don't know offhand it's some sort of fiber material that connects both ends but what that does is it really allows it to be you know very very limber you know you can see it swings very very freely uh great looking bait the seven inch size is the size that i think i will be using mostly but i think the nine inch could be a really good musky bait as well so let's make a couple cast and just see what see what this thing does I'm gonna get out in the water a little bit just so you can, we have a little bit of depth. So right off the bat, very, very slow sinking. I mean, you can see that bait is on the surface. The tail finally just went under. So this is, this is definitely going to be higher up on the surface. Oh, it's got really good motion gliding, like very, very lifelike. Ooh, I'm gonna like this. I'm just I'm just playing with it a little bit, just twitching it around just the to, to see what it takes to move it. And I mean it I'm giving it really little twists and it's walking 
it's doing like full 180s barely even moving it i mean very very light twitches so it's got good gliding motion i shouldn't say gliding it's got good walking motion with just really slight twitches oh boy so i'm giving it a little bit more aggressive twitches and it's i mean it's really just walking the dog right on the surface i like that Oh, wow. Okay. So let's see the straight retrieve. Hold on. Let me get that out there a little bit. Good wiggle. Oh, yeah. Really good. I hope you guys can see that. It's a, it's a tight... Oh, oof, oof, oof. Oof. it's too shallow right there but hopefully you can see that it's a nice it's a thumping bait I really can feel it thumping well okay yeah it's a high so it's high I mean I can see I almost, the, the top of the tail right now almost looks like a shark fin as I'm just kind of twitching it back and forth, which I really like. I can see that fin pop up at times. Turn it into a burn. Guys, this is nice. You know what I really like about it too is it's not heavy at all. Like I've got it on just a medium heavy action 7.3 and it, this that'll handle it just fine. And I can feel it when I give it a, a short pull, I can feel it thumping, so I know it's walking good. Pause it. I mean, the bait wants, the bait is actually turning around on itself completely and doing the whole look behind. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that from a, a, a bait strike perspective. Like, I know a lot of people are. I don't tend to get many bites on it. I do think it's a good quality to have in a bait. I mean, it just completely is turning around when I'm doing that. So if you wanted to get it to turn around, you can get it to look backwards, no problem at all. Um, man. I, I really like how light, like how light it is. Now, I don't want you to think it's not castable because it is, I mean, it still weighs an ounce, but it doesn't feel like an ounce, probably because the bait is... It's more spread out. It doesn't feel like throwing a one ounce jig. It just feels like I'm just throwing a vibrating jig or something. Oh man, I really like how this walks. Like you give it a lot of quick twitches and it's just S curving under the water. Yeah. Okay, well this is, this is, so again, this is the first cast I've made with it. I haven't caught anything with it, but it is performing, I mean, in initial thoughts, it is performing as good or better than most of the high dollar ones that I've, I've purchased. I mean, I've got lots of glide baits, several hundred dollar glide baits. Now they some of them were great, but I have paid money, for, big money for a lot and put them in the water and been like, I don't really feel great about this. Now, it doesn't mean they don't work. It's just a lot of times I feel like some glide baits take a lot more effort to get to work properly. This bait feels pretty foolproof. God, it's just thumping like a crankbait. I mean, and it looks, it looks, it looks like one that's, I'm going to be able to fish for smallmouth like this. I mean, you can see it just waking on the surface. Or for spotted bass down on like a Lanier, the blueback herring lakes. I mean, that thing is just like coming up, twitching. So I think you're going to be able to fish it almost as a straight bait versus a like traditional kind of glide bait where a lot of people are going to be either using the real handle just to kind of twitch it back and forth like that, which... You know, I, I can see it working back and forth right now. Oh, we just had a boil on it, guys. Did you see that? We just 
had a boil on it. He didn't hit it, came up and boiled on it. Let's see if we can get that guy to come back. We're gonna give it a slow retrieve. Dang. In all the videos I've done, I have never caught a fish in the handful of casts I've made down here. So that, I mean, I, that makes me feel really good about it. I don't like that he didn't connect with it, but typical smallmouth coming up, looking at it, saying, what is this? Why are you here? Get out of my neighborhood. It's a nice boil too. Well, he liked it when I was going like that, just with the real handle, getting it the walk. Yeah, it's this bait is really going all over. It's it's got a lot of good erratic motion in it. And I'm I'm really hoping I'm accurate in that price point being in the teens, which is what I I heard it was going to be. I think that's what I heard it was going to be. If I'm Yeah, that bait really looks good coming in. Um so hopefully it's up on Tackle Warehouse as a pre-order. If it is, I'll put the link up for you guys. But this is one, I really think that this is going to have, based on everything I've heard, everything Berkeley has sent down the line, and my little bit of playing around with it right now, I really think it's going to be a really good bait to kind of work yourself into glide bait fishing. Like, I think it's going to have the same performance as a lot of very high-end glide baits, but the biggest issue with a lot of the best glide baits out there, in my opinion, is that the price points are keeping a lot of people from getting into it. And in this case, I mean, it could be the same cost of, you know, some of the higher end vibrating jigs or jerk baits on the market. And at that point, to me, that's a good, a really good, this is a really good bait to get into your glide bait fishing. I'm gonna tell you what, guys, I really like just this, like a straight retrieve. I can feel it thumping, and the profile's not too big where I could just see burning, burning, killing, burning, killing like I was doing. We'll give that fish one more cast to come up and say hi to it. All right, well, so that's where we're at, guys. The old Fusion 19 has my finger. There it is. This is the Nessie 7 size, the golden shiner color. There's a bunch of good colors out there. Uh, just my initial impression, I'm, I'm very impressed. I really like it. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting it out and using it, see if we can catch some big fish with it. I think uh, I think we will be. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all of you. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.